Sankit friend Sankit Parudas and we are making this video based on the project, the science project that we have made that is the drainage cleaning robot. So basically we are trying to show you what this drainage cleaning robot can do to you and how it is good for us. Before explaining the abstract and the reason for which we are adopting this drainage cleaning robot, let me explain you about the Indian open drainage system. How it works, why it works and when it works. So Indian open drainage system is basically a system that has been drawn since the 1870s, since the advent of Europeans and the, the city planning system that Europeans have drawn. They have changed the uh, uh, regular drainage system that was continuing in India to the open drainage system that we are looking at today and this drainage system has basically no top so whenever there is a overflow of water inside it, it uh, spills out and hence causes a great havoc to the area around it and it makes the environment around it bad and it looks all filthy and dirty. So the reason for which we are adopting this drainage cleaning robot is that we have adopted this drainage cleaning robot so that the blunders of Indian open drainage system can be corrected without reforming the Indian open drainage system. The reforming of Indian open drainage system has been tried for lots of time but it is quite impossible because it is spread throughout India with a great network and also we have seen that this Indian open drainage system has not just this of problem but also people have liked it and sometimes there has been some protest on the uh, regulation of other drainage systems because it is quite quite not so costly thing. So now we are using this drainage cleaning robot to correct the blunders of in an open drainage system. How? We will see. When there is a concentration of different types of waste at a particular place in open drainage system, then at that place water overflows and hence spills out of the drain. This causes a great environmental blunder at that place. It looks filthy, it smells filthy, it is the region of diseases spread throughout the place. Uh, also, we need some human labor for the cause of uh, making the place cleaner and uh, we have to use human labor for making the drain cleaner. But this time, with this robot, we can avoid the human labor that is needed and still we can make the drain look cleaner and also the environment look cleaner by avoiding the system of spilling out of water. So now as I have explained the reason for which we are using this project, now let me explain why this project is a simple solution. At first it uses no human labor except for human intelligence and human controlling system. We can use this robot without using any type of human labor because this robot works semi-automatically based on the intelligence of human beings and still without the interference of human beings so as to clean the drainage system or even go nearby it. We can control it from a control system much away from it without going closer to it and hence it can be used without the interference of human beings. Now, how this drainage system can be used and why it is profitable to use this drainage system. When we are using this drainage cleaning system at fast, it avoids the spilling out of water. The spilling out of water can cause several types of diseases by spreading of several mosquitoes and other vectors. The next thing is that it can also make the environment look cleaner by the spilling of water the environment looks bad and the third thing is that it avoids the human labor needed. At first, we needed human labor to clean this drainage system, but now with this drainage cleaning robot, we can avoid the human labor needed. And at last, but not the least, this is a very cost-effective system of avoiding the human labor and still cleaning the drainage system effectively. We can use our human labor, but still, this is more cost-effective because in case we are using human labor, this can be fatal to human beings. Many times we have seen that where people are walking in a sewer system or a drainage system, some people die of suffocation and other diseases and uh, this has no disease to cause it and hence it will be sound and still it will help us. As it is made up of very simple robotic systems, it is a cost effective thing and it is easy to construct and get. Now, what are the parts of uh, it which can make us feel good and why it is semi-automated? So, as I have said earlier, 
this system this robotic system is semi automated system uh, so basically some part of it is automated and some part of it is controlled by the repeated switch which we can also say the control system of the uh, larger part of this robotic system so we use uh, this repeated switches for the controlling of several parts and uh, we can use um, the automated system for the opening of smart relays as dustbin and uh, this part, the smart dustbin is totally automated right on the other hand. This deep cleaning robo vehicle and uh, the creeper system that we are using here are not totally automated, they are semi-automated as they use some part of uh, robotics. Now let me introduce you to the several parts of uh, this system. At first, the most important part of it is the pipe, the drainage pipe here because uh, we are showing it as the drainage system. Though in India, generally, we are prevailing with the open drainage system. Now, we have to use the open drainage system's pipe as a pipe. Uh, it can be seen in some places of India. Here, as shown, this pipe is the drainage system and inside it are several garbages present which we have stocked as bunches of paper. And these uh, papers can be represented as the garbages. In this project, this is the drainage system. Now, the next thing is the gripper. This is the robo gripper that we are using here. And uh, this robo gripper is totally controlled by DPTT switches. And uh, as you will see, this gripper does the highest work of this robot as it gets inside the robot system, the drainage system. And after getting inside the drainage system, it picks up the several garbages inside it, which are in the form of paper. Then it, after picking it up, it goes up and then goes sideways to the smart dustbin where it throws them inside it. And uh, next we have the wheel of uh, uh, the system. There are two wheels, uh, if, sorry, uh, there are basically five wheels in the system. The first wheel is here that controls the gripper and there is a four, four wheels in this deep cleaning robot vehicle. So the work of uh, the wheel present in the gripper is to control the angle of the gripper and to, to control how it holds the different types of things and then it leaves the different types of things so that it can get inside the smart stream. After that we have the wheels present in this deep cleaning robot vehicle which help it to move forwards and backwards. Now we have the pulley system. The pulley system uh, it is here and it is not basically a very complex system but it uses um, it is used by this drainage cleaning robot so as to make the force that is uh, available and used by the gripper available to the gripper because the DC motors force are scattered throughout and with the help of this pulley system we are enforcing this force towards the gripper so that it is it is only used for the upholding and the side moving of the gripper. Next we have the DC motors and the threads that we are using along with the DC motors. The DC motors work on the basis of the magnetic fluctuation or magnetic flux and uh, production of uh, electricity after the magnetic flux and they are connected with thread. It basically converts electrical energy into magnetic energy sorry uh, it basically converts electrical energy to mechanical energy and this mechanical energy is used for the turning up and down of the motor and uh, the movement of threads which help in the movement of the paper further now we have the repetitive switch that's the control system of uh, this whole system the repetitive switches there are four repetitive switches here the first repetitive switch is generally uh, controlled by the help uh, with uh, controlled to make the gripper move up and down while the second repeated switch is made to uh, make the robo gripper open up and close down. The third and uh, one more important part of the repeated switch controls the movement of this robo gripper sideways. At last we have this repeated switch which is used for the movement of this deep cleaning robo vehicle forwards and backwards. Next. We have a smart dustbin. This is the OD automated part of this system and it uses several components for its working. Now, here we can see when we put our hands nearby this ultrasonic sensor, the ultrasonic sensor senses the movement of something nearby it which helps in the uh, sending of several types of signals 
to the Arduino. The Arduino system further sends signals to the submotor which receives electricity from the battery present here. After it receives the, uh, the electricity from the battery, it holds up the system and uh, it holds up the lid of the dustbin so that it opens up and the clipper can throw different types of cabbages inside it. So in this way the semi-automated drainage systems automated smart dustbin works. At last is uh, one more important part of our robot and that is not the least part of it of course and uh, so this is the deep cleaning robot vehicle that we are discussing about. The deep cleaning robot vehicle basically does the work of sifting different types of cabbages scattered throughout the drainage system. It gets inside one opening of the drainage system and uh, after it gets inside the rotor starts to uh, revolve and it helps in the moving of several types of cabbages towards the place where most of the waste are concentrated and where the gripper, the robo gripper is working so that the robo gripper can pick up the cabbages easily from that opening without getting to enter inside it and that's a very complicated process so we have used this to make the process much simpler and avoid the human labor that is needed to transform and uh, push these cabbages that are entered uh, that are scattered throughout the system towards the place where the gripper is holding different types of things so these are the main parts of the drainage cleaning robot that make the drainage cleaning robot work efficiently and effectively so as we have discussed about the parts of the drainage cleaning robot let us see a small demonstration of uh, how the drainage cleaning robot works at a real time system so this is our gripper so this is our gripper and uh, this gripper uses the several types of techniques for its movement up down sideways and uh, the opening of the gripper and the closing of the gripper this is the smart dustbin that we are using and it is the automated part and uh, here we have made a servo motor and an Arduino system that are uh, sticked to the base, pasted to the uh, um, sunboard model and here there are two motors, this is the pulley system and uh, this is another motor, three motors are present here and uh, then we have two batteries here which supply electricity to the thing and to the whole system of course and uh, this is the deep cleaning robot vehicle so circuit so the demonstration of it so here is uh, the gripper it uh, gets down so to pick up the different types of cabbages that can be present inside it after it gets down it it opens up and then picks up the different types of cabbages and then it again comes up afterwards it slows down and then it moves sideways towards the smart dustbin where it will throw the different types of cabbages that it has picked up it is moving towards the smart dustbin you can see and after sensing that something has come to here the smart dustbin automatically opens up it throws the cabbages and then it returns to its original position so here it is returning to its original position after throwing the cabbages that it has picked up so in this way the whole robot system works and uh, that's a small demonstration of it but now what will it do when the different waste are scattered throughout the system so at that time we will use this deep cleaning robot vehicle we'll have to enter it inside so that it will work now as we have entered it now it will work it will move frontwards where it will push the different types of cabbages that are present throughout the system to the opening at the opening, uh, the gripper can easily pick it up. So it is walking now, and the uh, gripper is getting down. The gripper, uh, the different scattered cabbages are now going to be picked up by the gripper. Here it goes down, and uh, it picks up the different types of cabbages again. It goes up, and then now it will go to throw the different types of cabbages inside the smart dustbin, the same way it did earlier. And the smart dustbin opens up. After sensing that a gripper has came and then it threw the different types of cabbages, again it returns to its original position. So that's how it works. So that was a small demonstration of how it works and now we have got the future improvements and the different ways it can work in our society. We can use this drainage system in our everyday life 
efficiently and uh, easily because this is not made up of much costlier substances uh, much costlier elements we can use it easily here we have seen this uh, that is the robo gripper it doesn't cost much and it is not automatic so it can work of its own uh, accord but still it can be controlled by the dividend switch and that's more efficient as uh, so we have not got much systems developed by now we can uh, develop it in corners of india because it is a small model and it when when it will be a real time model then too it will be comparatively smaller to the fully automated systems that uh, maybe some others can develop or may have developed now as uh, we can see uh, there is only one automated part of it but still that is also much uh, uh, less costly than others now there are several future improvements that we can introduce to it these future improvements are that we can make the gripper and the deep cleaning robo vehicle more and more efficient and we can make them fully automated we can also connect the dustbin with a pipe which will go straight to the place where the different types of waste are treated uh, the waste it is waste treatment plant in the city and at last we can also control it by using the wifi system uh, in our homes with the help of a remote control system or any other system we can install a camera so that we can see whether the garbages are concentrated or not and then we can control it at last after this long description of how the dennis cleaning robot works i would like to conclude this by saying that it's a perfect solution for our everyday life and uh, our everyday works it can make the open drainage system as more efficient this drainage cleaning robot is made for that and um, hence i would like to wish that uh, um, this is to be implemented as soon as possible so that the drainage cleaning robot can work and uh, also the open drainage system can be corrected soon um, and i wish a great day for you thank you for looking at this video Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.